Hey there, Guardians. My name's Chit, and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. So I finally maxed out my Sunbreaker class, but I wanted to test things out before I made this video. So I'm going to go through what I use for both PvE and PvP content and explain why. Let's get started. For PvP, you can use any grenade you like. I personally use fusion grenades so I can get payback on all those sun singers that stuck me throughout this past year. For the super, you can go with Forge Master, which gives you about a third more hammers to use, but I've been using Sun Charge more often, and I'll explain why later. I don't really use Scorched Earth because no one's going to really stand in those sunspots for too long unless you put one on Control Point or a, a Spark and Rift. I'm sure it's fun to play with though. For melee, I definitely recommend Stoke the Forge, which is the Titan's version of the Blade Dancer's fast twitch. The cooldown is about 10 seconds if you don't get a kill, but coupled with the year 2 version of Insurmountable Skullford, you get an additional melee charge, so you get two chances to reset this. I don't use Meltdown because that's more for a mini boss or a major where your team can burn them a bit quicker, and Thermal Vent requires a kill to activate the Sunspot, and by then no one will be around. For next tier, I go with Flame Seeker instead of the other two. Why? Well, I know some people feel it doesn't do much, and they're right. However, this perk is really meant for long distance hammer fine tuning. There's just no way to hit a small target like a guardian from across the map without this perk fine tuning that flight path to ensure that even if they step to the side, it won't land next to them and you get nothing. Which brings me back to Sun Charge. Sun Charge is meant for those close quarters combat. It closes the gap and automatically homes in on people without you having to do much. Yes, you can still miss or use it too far away and not even reach the person, but for the most part, you'll hit your man. It can be difficult sometimes for hammers to hit someone close by at times and this fixes that. The reason I don't use this in PvE is that it only hits one target. You can charge into a group of thrall with this and it'll only hit one of them, which is simply overkill for a single thrall. And hitting your target launches them into the air behind the group you just entered so they won't even crash into their buddies dealing damage. So I only use this in PvP. And man is it satisfying to sun charge another sunbreaker during his super. For PvE, again, use any grenade you like. I go with Thermite because it's so much fun to use and very effective. For the super ability, I have been using Scorched Earth because even though Forge Master gives you many more hammers, these sunspots do tons of damage, especially on a relatively stationary boss. I couple this with Firekeeper to get an overshield while standing in a sunspot, and these shields are about as strong as the Defender Titan's Force Barrier. Also, when you activate your super, you automatically get a sunspot at your feet. So this playstyle requires little movement unless you plan on using hammers to lay a trail of sunspots for you to move in, which is a bit of a waste of hammers. It also allows for you to heal without interruption while cauterize would require that. And punching a thrall while creating a sunspot with thermal vent does devastating damage. But I also swap with meltdown depending on the encounter. Stoke the Forge has its uses as well, so melees can be very flexible depending on what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. Now I want you to check out what Thermal Vent does with Firekeeper. Now I want to show you what happens when you have Insurmountable Skullford, Cauterize, and Stoke the Forge. If you haven't noticed by now, I haven't lost any melee energy at all. I still have double melees. And finally, I want you to witness what happens when you have this setup on a Sunbreaker and you simply activate your super. Godly, I know, right? Well, I'm gonna finish off this video with my Lord Shaq's This is Amazing clip. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. The spark has arrived.
stop the enemy runner. Three opponents down. Look at them fall. I can't believe what I'm seeing. 